Good morning everyone, my name is Chrissy and this is Everyday Tidbits. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to take you through my day. I am a single mom and I have extremely busy days on my day off. Um, I feel like I run way more at home than I do at work because it is only me, everything's on me, the responsibilities of the house, taking care of my daughter, food, all that stuff. And if I don't feel good, it doesn't matter because there's no one else to do it. But I already feel like I'm out of breath. I already feel like I'm running, you know, thin today. I always feel a little overwhelmed, usually on my first day off um, because there's so much to do. I made a list. I have to empty the dishwasher. I have to fold laundry. I have to put laundry away. Um, there's two loads folded I have to put away. Oh my God, um, the dishwasher ran last night so I have to put that away. And there's already like breakfast dishes in the sink that have to go in there. I was supposed to get my chuck roast in the slow cooker early this morning, but when my groceries were delivered, there was no chuck roast in my delivery. They substituted it for ground beef. Like that is so far the opposite of what I needed. So I'm in the car and I'm running out to shop right really quickly so that I could just grab a roast and come home and get that in the crock pot and get the rest my day started um, when my daughter gets home today I have to rush her off to the dentist appointment so I'm gonna try to get most of everything that I need to get done before that because you know in my head it's like a it's like a mind game but like if I sit idle in the in the doctor's office waiting for her it's like I think of everything else that I have to do at home that I could be doing while I'm sitting there doing nothing so I have to try to run around before she gets home so that way I can just kind of chill bring a book and oh my phone's ringing stand by so that was my sprinkler man um he wants to make me his first stop so he said he'll be at my house in a half hour so that means I have to hurry up at ShopRite and get my roast I asked him I'm like when are you coming he's like you're gonna be our first stop I said oh my I was just on my way to ShopRite so I can grab my roast and he's like yeah just you know we'll be there in a half hour we're gonna go stop at Wawa we're gonna get gas for the vehicle and then we'll be there in a half hour I said oh perfect that, that's plenty of time for me to run in and out but see what I mean like I I'm constantly on the go I'm constantly rushing so I'm just gonna go get my roast and we'll talk when I get home I also filled this bucket I have to refill it every few days cuz you know I'm always getting deliveries I do everything online get my groceries delivered and everything else but um, you know it's Christmas season holiday season so they're at my door more often than than normal so I just want to keep my delivery people happy and give them a little snack. There's candy in there as well. Lord knows we have a lot of candy left from Halloween. So try to give them some water, some chips, and keep that bucket filled for them so that they can take a little treat when they drop off our packages. Okay, I am home now. And I made it before the sprinkler guys got here, so we're good to go. I'm just gonna get this roast into the crock pot and then um, I have to empty the dishwasher so that I can put all the stuff back in the dishwasher to be washed later, probably after we eat dinner. And the washing machine is going, so the laundry will be done soon. Um, I might take a walk if I have time. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time. I'm actually feeling extremely overwhelmed. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I do have enough time to get all this stuff done, but it's like, you know, if you see my list, it's just overwhelming. But we're going to get that roast into the crock pot because that's the priority right now because it has to cook all day and it's already 9 o'clock. So I am making a beef bar barbacoa. Barbacoa is how you're pronouncing it. I found this seasoning at ShopRite and um, I'm going to try it. It's a sauce starter kit. Basically, you just sear both sides of this, put that on it. I'm gonna throw some onions in there. These onions are about to go bad, so I'll probably use half of each because they're they're getting there. They're getting there, so I'm gonna use the good part. I have these fresh herbs uh, left over from a recipe, so I'm gonna throw some of that in there and just, we're gonna wing it today. And this is gonna cook for about, about eight hours. And since I'm behind, I might do like an hour on high and then do the rest low and slow, just so we can make up for lost time here.
once felt I'm done with the defense Draw back and climb over your fence Hide to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders I'm closed off, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back no going back, there's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights Sunsets, remember the colors They were wrong, it was way more than a dream We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside So right, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back Now that my roast is going, I'm going to take a few minutes to clean up the kitchen and get my day started. Riding on the dizzying heights. This was a busy week for us and we weren't home a lot so I have a lot of laundry to catch up on this week. Uh, we went to Atlantic City and stayed overnight at the Hard Rock Cafe last week and ate dinner at the Sugar Factory. We also had breakfast at the Hard Rock Cafe in the next morning. It was a lot of fun. It was so nice to get away for the night. And then we went to my friend's house for the weekend. We stayed overnight Saturday night and we just had a really good time with her kids and her family. Um, we ate a lot of food and so I need to just make up for things not being home this week. I think I'm gonna meal prep some hard boiled eggs and make some egg salad for lunch. Um, I'm gonna use my little egg cooker that I got. Uh, I can't remember, honestly, if I got this from Amazon or Walmart, but it is a game changer for meal prep because it can cook all these eggs at one time and it's basically hands-free. You just put them in there and forget about it for like nine minutes. And whether you want a soft boiled egg or a hard boiled egg, it comes out perfect every time. So I'm just gonna hard boil some eggs so that way I can make some egg salad later. In London drunk at night In LA picking fights I think we have done it all She knows me in and out Love of a different kind But we still have no control Cause when the daylight comes We're just good friends Baby, good friends I just wanted to take a minute to let you guys know that if you are struggling in any type of way, there are several resources in my description box for you if you need to call and reach out for help. This is a very difficult time of year with the holidays coming. If you've lost a loved one or if you're a single parent or whatever your situation may be, there is hope and you guys are not alone. So please, if you need help, 
please look in my description box and find a resource for you. so good for words that's why we don't get that far but she still is my mind so we can follow through we're only about an hour into cooking this pot roast and it smells so good already just from searing it before I turned it on the slow cooker function. My goodness, my mouth is watering as I'm cleaning the kitchen and I just can't wait until it's dinner time so I can eat it. I'm gonna take a break and have a little something to eat. Um, it is 10.20, I'm gonna have some breakfast. It's not gonna be like a typical breakfast. I meal prepped a few meals. In the beginning of this week, it was a turkey tenderloin with some broccoli and some brown rice. And I made extra for my daughter in case she would want it, but she didn't want it. So I have an extra one. And um, since I have the barbacoa in the slow cooker, I'm gonna eat this for breakfast. <laughs> um, it's all good, whatever. I've been up since six, so it's kind of like brunch lunch. And then I'll have my egg salad in a few hours and um, the barbacoa for dinner. But um, I figured I would sit down and have a talk with you and just explain to you a little bit why I'm overwhelmed. Um, if you guys are a single parent out there, you know exactly why I'm overwhelmed. But now that we're into the holiday season, I'm just a little bit more overwhelmed because um, my husband died 13 days before Christmas and this time of year it gets a little bit like sad. Stand by. Let me All right. Go. I'm back. This is what I'm going to be eating. But anyway, uh, this time of year gets a little bit sad for me. Uh, the days are shorter, it gets darker, longer and I start thinking about that day that he died which was 13 days before Christmas. All of our Christmas stuff was up. The decorations were up. The tree was up. So it is November 10th today. And um, my daughter wants to put the tree up. And every year I'm just like, yeah, we'll put the tree up. And then it, it like takes everything out of me emotionally to get this tree down from the attic and set it up. Um, if it were not for my daughter, I wouldn't decorate at all <laughs> to be honest with you um once it's up i love when it's up but getting to the point of putting it all up is very emotionally draining for me excuse me <laughs> um so not only that um you know I'm, I'm a single parent and i'm single at this time with no significant other so also around this time it's like i'm giving and giving and giving gifts and stuff which i absolutely love that is my favorite I love to give gifts. I love to see people happy, you know, with a gift that I picked out. But at the same time, it's also kind of difficult because I don't have somebody special in my life who knows me well enough. Oh my God, excuse me, to pick out the perfect gift for me. And it gets to me um, sometimes, but you know, it is what it is. And us single parents, we just march on. We do what's best for our kids. We take care of our business. We move on and you know my daughter's old enough to help me with chores and she's very good at doing what I ask her to do but she's overwhelmed with her homework she's in all these advanced classes so I don't like to put a lot on her so on my days off I do wake up overwhelmed from the minute I get up to the minute I go to sleep I'm exhausted when I sit down at night because I'm on the move all day long um 
I'm responsible for yard work, I'm responsible for trash, you know, stuff that typically like a husband would do. I, I don't know that sounds sexist, but it's, you know, if my husband were here, he would be doing all that. It's all on me. And I have to run to the grocery store, I have to do the meals, and I have to do the cleaning, and I have to do everything by myself. So that is why I am overwhelmed all the time. So um, I'm just gonna eat my food and then I'm going to go on to laundry. I hate laundry, that is the worst. And I've been procrastinating. I have folded laundry that has to be put away, like four baskets or three, I don't know. I have to look, but it's all folded. And then I have a huge load behind it that I just took out of the dryer, as you saw that has to be folded and then there's one on the rack that'll have to be folded tomorrow so i get overwhelmed with laundry and i don't even know how that happens because there's only two of us that live here but just to give you a little bit of background and a little understanding of what's going on in my head on a daily basis so all right bon appetit More than my name, I wanna float on downstream, go and find my wild dream. I know that I'd said that the holidays are overwhelming for me, and they are, but I do look forward to spending them with my family. I was very fortunate enough that a dear friend offered to cover me on Christmas, so I am off on Christmas Day and the day after, which I'm really happy about, and I'm so grateful to my friend. Shout out to Natalie. I love you, my BB. So anyway, I will be getting together with my family this year. I'm also off for Thanksgiving, which I'm truly happy about. I do have to work on New Year's Day, but that's not a big deal, because as you get older, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day is just not a big deal anymore and I will probably be doing something with my daughter and possibly a friend uh, we were talking about it but um, yeah so I'm off on New Year's Day which is great <laughs> Just break free Just let me see your bad streaks Maybe they'll match my freaks Yeah I'd kill to see the stars cry Roam in the dark while love hide Let the world know you're mine I don't know why the task of doing laundry is completely overwhelming for me. Probably because I don't like it is one of my least favorite chores. I'm sure if you've been following me for a while you know this. But um, I tend to like wash the laundry, fold the laundry, and then stick it in a basket and put it off to the side. And then I realize, hey, I don't have any laundry baskets for the next load, so I probably should put this stuff away. And then it piles up in my room and it becomes overwhelming to me. So I need to just take a few minutes to go through these laundry baskets and put everything away so that way I can clear my headspace and my room space. We're I would do anything just to get you back again. 
share this shirt that I bought it's from Lily Silk it is my first silk dress shirt and I'm pretty excited about it I just have to like figure out how I'm gonna style it I saw this on Shea Whitney's channel and she has a white one and I believe she had a blue one but I thought I would get a black one and maybe style it with my black faux leather leggings or um, I don't know I'm not really sure yet, but I thought it was really pretty. I have to steam it out, of course, it's a little wrinkly, but it's from Lily Silk and I, I just love it. This is what I love to see, empty laundry basket. Now the other laundry basket has my daughter's clothes in it, so I put them in her room and she's responsible for putting them away, but yes, it's empty, all my clothes are put away. So, I think I'm going to go work out now. Before I go work out, I decided I was going to make my egg salad. So I'm going to take my hard boiled eggs and peel them. I have seven because that's what fit in the cooker. I'm going to chop them with this Pampered Chef chef egg chopper i'm going to add fat free greek yogurt two tablespoons of low fat mayo two tablespoons of dijon mustard three pickles chopped and some seasoning and then i'm going to stick it in my fridge this egg salad worked out to be about one point per serving and it was so delicious <laughs> feel so much better now way less stressed um, it definitely got a lot of my anxiety out um, I finished the laundry I finished the dishwasher the food is in the crock pot um, I put all my clothes away I have my delicious lunch ready um, this is the egg salad I made with a carb balanced tortilla the carb balanced tortilla is two points the egg salad worked out to be one point per serving and I have a giant handful of baby spinach leaves on the side that I'm going to put in my tortilla and roll it up and the spinach is zero points but I also will earn a daily point from eating a non-starchy vegetable so I'm going to eat this my daughter is I just saw the bus go by on the street over she will be home very shortly and then we have to get to the dentist it is 2 11 
right now our dentist appointment is at three o'clock but it's literally like I can see it from my house <laughs> it's two streets over so um that's what we're gonna do and then we have to come home and I'm going to relax for a little bit my daughter has to study for her midterms and then she has a um she's going to a bonfire tonight with her boyfriend so I have to bring her there at 6.30. So we're gonna leave our house at like 6.15. And then while she's out um, at her bonfire, I am going to run to Target and do some like little Christmas shopping for little things that I need. So I'm gonna enjoy this. My daughter just texted me, she's walking, so I have to go outside. We just got home from the dentist, all went well. We were only there for like 25 minutes, it was super quick. And I ran to the store and I got some brown rice because I thought I had some, but I don't. And I really wanted to have brown rice with my barbacoa tonight. So I have that cooking on the stove behind me, simmering away. The pot roast has about another hour to go. And in the meantime, I'm going to make my daughter's lunch for tomorrow. And then I'm gonna sit and relax for a little bit because I honestly have been on the go all day. And I'm starting to get anxious again, only because I know that I'm getting really, really tired and it is four o'clock and I have to go out again later to bring my daughter to her friend's house. So I need to like rest a little bit, but um, making her lunch the night before makes my life easier in the morning. So that's when I, what I'm going to do right now. Is running wild. It's heavy on my side. I'm throwing things at you, but nothing seems to stick. I'm swimming round your aisle, think I'm losing my grip Oh, oh I'm trying to hold on Oh, oh, gotta keep on keeping on Cause I'm waking us down Just a little bit Our dinner's ready. I'm plating up my daughter's. I'm putting hers on a tortilla with a little bit of brown rice and cheese. I'm gonna roll it up into a burrito for her. And then I'll show you my plate after I plate mine up. All right, so here's my bowl. I have a cup of brown rice, which is zero points. A half a cup of black beans, which is zero points. A couple of radishes, which is zero points. And then six ounces of barbacoa. Um, Five ounces, I believe, was eight points. I'm gonna have to calculate six ounces, but I have like 15 points left for the day, so I'm having six ounces of barbacoa. So this is my plate. I'm going to eat it and enjoy it because in a little bit, in about an hour, I have to bring my daughter to her bonfire. So I just dropped my daughter off at the bonfire and I have two hours to myself to kill. Um, I'm like an old lady because by this time every night I am just ready to be on the couch in my pajamas and comfy clothes and just veg out with like brainless TV. I am so tired right now. It's because it was my first day off and I woke up completely overwhelmed as you knew and i got a lot of things done today i was constantly on my feet i was running around i got my workout in i'm just drained right now but i didn't want to go home because i am about 25 minutes from home to come all the way there and come all the way back it would just be like pointless so i'm gonna run into costco walk around a little bit right next door is target and alta so i'm just gonna go in these few stores and just peruse uh, maybe i'll find christmas gifts or stocking stuffers or something um i don't know if not it'll just kill time and i'll walk around and i'll get a few more extra steps in <laughs> for my um daily quota so that's what i'm about to do now but i am exhausted Well, I just got home and I am beyond exhausted. Um, I just wanted to show you, I got this at Costco and they are so, 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 so good. Unfortunately, they're six points each. So, 
just a little treat every now and then but they are so delicious i also got cauliflower rice which is zero zero points and then i got a few items for christmas gifts but i'll show you that in a later video but i'm gonna go upstairs change into something really comfortable and just sit on the couch and relax for the rest of the night so i'm gonna close out the vlog and say good night and i just want to thank you so much for joining me today and i really appreciate all of your support if you could please hit that subscribe button down below hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time i post Follow me on Instagram at everyday underscore tidbits and Facebook at everyday tidbits because I would love for you to be a part of my social media family. I hope everyone's being safe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.